I didn't realize how white I was until I started going out with my girlfriend, right? She's not white. And all these things I do that I thought were just normal things to do are apparently like really white things to do. Like the other day, I planned this whole day out for us, right? Like I wrote down all the things we're going to do, like all the places we're going to go. I put them in one big document. I printed out that document and I stapled it together. Uh, some of you are already laughing. That's great. Uh, and when she saw it, she said, that is the whitest thing I've ever seen. What is that? Your white agenda. I said, it's not, it's not a white agenda. It's not my white agenda. Come on. What is white about 11 o'clock, mini golf? Two o'clock, transport museum. Four o'clock, open up a coffee shop in a poor area. What is white about that? Come on, it's not a white agenda. It's a itinerary. It's a itinerary. I feel like I'm a white boy stereotype. You know, people see me, they don't have to ask me like, oh, are you at uni? They just go, oh, how's drama at Bristol going? Is that good? You learning somersaults and shit? Is that, are you having fun? I'm not even a drama student. Like, uh, I, actually, I actually applied, I applied for politics uh, at Oxford. Right, a very competitive course, like very competitive, so competitive, yeah. The same year that I applied for politics at Oxford, Malala applied for the same course. Malala, right, youngest Nobel Prize winner ever, world famous political activist, applied for the same course, the same uni as me. Do you want to guess who got in there? I'll give you a clue, yeah? When I did my personal statement, I actually put in a quotation from Malala. No, Malala's entire personal statement was a quotation from Malala, which is a bit lazy, but we'll give her a pass, won't we? I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad I'm not at the same uni as Malala. I feel like that would get you down a little bit, not your confidence. I've got a mate uh, who is on that course, right, with Malala. Apparently, one day, she didn't show up to a lecture, and everyone was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Malala's skipping lectures. Malala's fallen off. Turns out she was having lunch with Barack Obama. Maybe this is just me being a boy, but if I was Malala, I would not need an excuse like that to miss lectures. Like, I would wake up at uni every morning, you know, sunlight coming in through my curtains, long, hard day of lectures ahead of me, and I'd think, you know what? I could go to my lectures, but my lecturers don't have a Nobel Prize, so. And then I'd look up at the book I wrote, you know, because it's on my shelf, and I'd read the title, I Am Malala. And I'd think, yeah, bitch, I am Malala. And Malala deserves a fucking lion right now. Can't a gal get some Nobel peace? 